Hi, I'm Shane with eToro.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the best hitch options for your 2012 Kia Sorento. Here we have the top three hitches for the Kia Sorento. Here on top we're going to have the Draw Tight Class 3. Here in the center we're going to have the Draw Tight Class 2. And here on the bottom we're going to have the Kurt Class 3. One of the noticeable differences you're going to see is with our Kurt, it's going to be shaped a little bit different. The way the Kurt mounts up is it actually mounts over top of the exhaust. With the draw tights, uh, where the bend is right here, it actually comes down under the exhaust. So you're going to see the whole cross tube on your draw tights with your Kurt. You're only going to see about from here to here on the back of the vehicle. The rest of it is going to be up hidden behind the fascia. Both class three hitches, our draw tight and our Kurt, they're going to have a two inch by two inch receiver tube opening, so they're going to work with most hitch mounted accessories. With our class two hitch, we're going to have an inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter receiver tube opening, so we may be a little bit limited on those accessories. Keep in mind that all three of these hitches are going to have weight limitations. With our class two, we're going to have a 300 pound max tongue weight, which is going to be the downward pressure on the inside of the receiver tube. So we want to make sure however many bikes we may be putting on that bike rack, we're not exceeding that downward pressure. With our class two only having 300 pound weight capacity, it may limit us on how many bikes we can actually put on. With our two class threes, we're gonna have a 350 pound max tongue weight. With all three of these hitches, we're gonna have a 3,500 pound max trailer weight, which is a trailer plus a load included. That's how much the hitch can pull. Now, draw tight's gonna have an advantage because you can use weight distribution. Uh, what weight distribution is, it's gonna be a separate component, and what it does is if you're pulling a trailer that may have a little bit more tongue weight, that weight distribution transfers that weight back onto the trailer so it allows your vehicle to ride more level. That being said, when you're using weight distribution, your tongue weight's gonna go up to 500 pounds and your trailer weight's gonna go up to 5,000 pounds. So I always recommend checking the owner's manual of the vehicle. You wanna make sure the vehicle can withstand that amount of weight. You're gonna go with the lowest number between the vehicle and the hitch. All three of these hitches can be installed at home, can be installed on the ground with a few simple tools. They're gonna to attach the frame rails on each side with our draw tights, it's as simple as lifting them up and putting in your hardware. With our cart, it's gonna require a few extra steps. Uh, before installing any of these hitches, I always recommend having an extra set of hands when lifting the hitch and the weld nuts that are on each frame rail, make sure you clean them out. You wanna make sure that your hardware is gonna thread into those holes easily. With all three of our hitches, we're gonna have rolled steel style safety chain loops. You can see we have very large openings to accommodate different size safety chain hooks. With our class two, we're gonna have a half inch hitch pin hole. With our class threes, we're gonna have a five eighths hitch pin hole. With our draw tight, we're gonna have one benefit. We're gonna have an extra hole here, and this is for a J-pin stabilization device only. The J-pin takes any of the shake and play out of any of your hitch mount accessories, and it can be found here at eToyer.com. That being said, you can find locking devices for the Kurt class three and the draw tight class two. All of them are gonna have a black powder coat finish that's so gonna resist any rust or corrosion. With our Kurt, it's gonna be more of a gloss black finish, where our two draw tights are gonna be more of a semi-gloss black finish. As far as the best hitch options for your Kia Sorento, it's gonna come down to personal preference. If you're looking for ease of installation, I would go with either one of the draw tights. If you're looking for aesthetics, I myself would go with the Kurt. Most of it's gonna be hidden behind the bumper fascia. If you're gonna be pulling a trailer, you're looking for a hitch that is more versatile, maybe you're gonna use weight distribution, I'd go with the draw tight class three. Again, I'm Shane with eTrailer.com. I hope this video has helped you when choosing the best hitch for your Kia Sorento.